All right, <laughs> here we go. Part three of the epic Moto Van build series. I have the always lovely assistant Liz with me. So today we got all the installation done in part two. Uh, part one, I had those cheap floorboards. So go check out those videos if you're just now coming into this series. So now we are gonna work on putting some plywood up on the ceiling. So there's all the ribs that go across the ceiling and basically we're gonna, we're gonna have panels that fit up in those areas. Uh, it's gonna be this five millimeter plywood here and I'm gonna cover it in carpet, uh, this stuff here. It's like a speaker box carpet, um, which I got that idea from Cycle Cruises all-in-one moto vlogging <laughs> channel on his van build. So since I copy Cycle Cruza and bought a van because he was the first person ever to buy a van and make it into a moto camper van. Yeah, so I'm a copycat. Thanks for that idea. I think it'll work really well. Anyway, let's get to cutting. Right now we're working on templates. We're gonna use this like really fancy, thick, nice cardboard uh, and cut out templates, which will then later uh, lay over the plywood for our final cuts, our final pieces. So pretty much they're basic rectangular shapes and there's just a few notches, like this notch here, we'll replicate in that corner as well. And then there's another similar notch over here. So um, it's basically just laying that out, make sure the cardboard fits up there, and then we can get to cutting the actual plywood pieces, right? Yeah. Great smile and head shake. <laughs> so we have this cool uh, corner notcher, meant for metal, but it also works pretty good for this cardboard. Come on, get in there. So, boom, just like that. And then we got our little notch, so we do that to all four of them, but I'm not going to show you because I need Liz to help me. <laughs> Bend in first, and then hopefully a quarter inch skinnier, quarter inch shorter, everything else looks pretty good. Liz is going to get a pen, and I'm stuck here holding this up with my head and taking video at the same time. Whoa! <laughs> Hey Liz, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm pretty good. <laughs> good. Sweet. <laughs> We never did the cut for the No, we the didn't. Crap. Back to the saw. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Ready for this craftsmanship, this gimp hand craftsmanship here. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a gross laugh. <laughs> 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 <All right. laughs> that off. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. No, no, it's all feeling. I think I'm really good. I think I'm the best skill sawer ever. Okay, round number two. Let's go. Will it fit? It better fit. Or I'm gonna be real <laughs> I'm gonna be real mad. Will it fit? Oh, what's this? Oh, this. we have that on there. It's gonna fit without it. 
Oh, yeah. That's because we cut it a little short. So good thing for doing that, huh? What do you think, carpet or wood? I just, the surface of this isn't very clean. There's kind of like, I don't it's, know. It would be cool if it was finished, but it's Probably not. Right, if I like painted it, but I don't really feel like dealing with that. I'd rather just carpet it. But definitely, <laughs> definitely carpet it then, yeah? Yeah. So we got our board all finished cut and it fits beautifully. So what we're gonna do now is try and carpet a piece and stick it up there just to see how it looks. So we're gonna do a little test piece on this little piece of scrap wood here just to see how the carpet reacts with the glue. Uh, we're gonna use this 3M Super 77 glue here, which is the same stuff we've been using for the insulation. So we're gonna leave about a, an inch and a half wrap around so we can glue it on the back side there and it'll all have a nice clean finish uh, when looking up at the ceiling. Doing it on the wood is fast. Yeah, well, and I'm just saying, I'm just saying it's better because then we can pull it taut a little bit, place yes. it down, and then kind of squeegee it out. So, ready? Um, am I ready? No, we need the tripod. Okay. All right, so our test piece seemed to work out pretty well. It's definitely sticky. It's not gonna, not gonna come off, and especially once it's wrapped around, uh, the material seems to work pretty well with the glue. We didn't seem to get any like bubbles. It's it's pretty stretchy carpet, so we were able to kind of just put it right on there, rub our hand on it, and everything seemed good. So now we're gonna take our piece here. Liz is going ahead with the cutting, doing a great job. It's kind of a pain in the ass with these. So, oh, I have a fabric cutter, oh, like a pinwheel or a wheel. Yeah, just keep going with the scissors. We'll get it later since you already... Well, and yeah, I guess we'd have to find like, a piece of wood to do it on. So what we'll wanna do, once we place the wood down, I think we should do the long edges first. Yeah, and then and we gotta make sure we like really get those. Actually, I guess it won't matter a whole lot. We wanna like really stretch this right here to make sure it gets into the, the cut there, but not enough to like tear it. This is the test. Can't mess up now. Here we go. Got the piece all carpeted. I'm gonna go give a little test run. All right, so get her in there. If you bet, contour it to the ceiling, so push up in the middle a little bit. And then, boom! Oh, it's so good! Oh my God. That's gonna be so good. Here, hold it up. Yeah, just pull it up. Oh, that's gonna look so nice. So yeah, we got nice. We're, we're good on the fit there. It's like, that's like a perfect, perfect yeah. little seam in there. Semen, <laughs> perfect semen there. Now we have two ceiling pian, blah, blah. <laughs> Shut up, Liz. Now we have, to, now we have two ceiling panels done. They both fit very, very well. Well, actually, I can't speak for the small one, but it'll work, it will work. I know it will. So we're just letting them here in uh, the bathroom, otherwise known as the office. Uh, so we are working on the third board right now, which we have all laid out here. So this is a really big one, 35 by 62 inches approximately. So we're going to cut that out. And unfortunately tonight we don't have enough glue to get uh, carpet on it. So that'll have to wait until tomorrow.
I use you later, I shouldn't have been so abusive. <laughs> This nice, fine Siberian leather, which is actually just carpet from Amazon. Oh, yeah. So good. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Just fantastic. Wow. It's the super dead right there. Yeah. Well, she's a dude, so. You get one of these little go go Joby Gorilla Pod tripod things. Just go for the nice one and not like the fifteen dollar one, because fifteen dollar one's pretty much worthless. Another board complete. <laughs> Liz, it's only 3 a.m. Let's go. We have one more. Okay, we have two more pieces to go. <laughs> Your viewers better love it. They will love it. They'll love it so much. Check out that shirt. Look at how sweet that shirt is. Oh, yeah. Sh shameless product placement. This one was really a pain in the butt, wasn't it? <laughs> we did. Let's see, our, our template, which was the another cardboard template, we probably tried like four times to I get that. I think the... it probably took about an extra hour for just this one piece alone. Yeah, so, <laughs> and then once we <laughs> traced it onto the wood and cut that out, we had to try like two times to get it right, but it's all good. We're going to get some carpet on it, and then... Um, then we have one more little piece to do, to do. One, it's like a little rectangle for the very, very back. That'll be super easy. But we'll probably just update you once all the pieces are done and we're putting them in. So it'll be a little bit, but you won't notice a difference because <laughs> for you, it'll be instant. It'll be like right after I cover this lens. Here we go, starting off day two of part three of the Moto Van build series. Um, Right now we are going to be cutting some of the uh, aluminum flat stock that's going to hold up our ceiling boards. So we're just going to uh, cut the piece to the overall length. Then we got to drill holes to line up with the holes in the ceiling ribs. Throw some bolts in there and then uh, see how it works out. So yeah, that's it. 128. Here we go. <laughs> And yeah, you're gonna have to go that way. Ho. D these hoses oh. ain't loyal. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even recording. Yes, I am. Well, why aren't you pointing it at the control panel? <laughs> Liz. What? 
talking to the camera, I'm scared. I'm, I'm nervous. We're just putting up uh, these little foam pads just to protect. So when we bolt the strip of aluminum up there, it's not gonna be metal against metal and making noises and scratching and not good things. So this will just soften up the contact a little bit. Uh, we don't need any more. Well, well I'll, I'll put this. Can we get a close up of your nose? Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't bring the screws in. You wanna go grab them? Just go take the camera and go on a mission. Uh, Liz, we actually, we, we're gonna need your help. Okay. You can just put the camera down. You know I'd walk a thousand miles so I could just it done that was that was pretty awful but as you can see it looks pretty darn good look at all that just nice, nice. Just look, at look at that aluminum strip I'm gonna do like a like smoked plastic and then I'll have the LED light strips here and what we can mount them in between uh, these struts here so yeah Let's uh, freaking pack up and go home and actually sleep for once, not pull a 4 a.m. night. Round, oh, shitty lighting. Oh, much better lighting. That rounds up part three, three, three of the Moto Van. Epic Moto, Suzanne the Moto Van build. I can't speak right now, it's been a long few days. So. Definitely check out part one and two if you haven't already, and part four will be coming hopefully very soon after this. Uh, I don't really know what the next step is. I would guess it would be starting to get panels on the walls here, which is going to be another massive project. But, but not as hard as this. Right. It should be a lot easier because we don't have, we won't really have contours right. in the panels and everything will be. This was probably one of the hardest. I feel yeah. Like one of the hardest jobs. Yeah. And everything will be working like against a wall. So. Should be pretty easy, but yeah, we'll keep you updated and thanks for watching.